Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we are doing decimals and percents today, converting between both. So we will do decimal to percent, and then we're going to switch over and convert between percent and decimal. Let's get started. First off, a little bit of um, decimal magic. When there is no decimal, you need to make a decimal. So this requires a little bit of magic. Three, two, one, poof, 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 poof. It goes right there at the end. So if you see a number like 12, 3, 45, or 123, and you don't have a decimal written, all you need to do is put the decimal at the end of the number. That's the very first thing that you need to remember, because every number has a decimal, and for converting between decimal and fraction, or decimal and percent, I'm sorry, you need to have that decimal written down. Now let's begin. Percent to decimal. Percent means out of 100. So 23% means 23 out of 100. Now if you remember back to our lesson on powers of 10, if you're dividing by 100, you're moving the decimal. All right. When you divide by 100, you move the decimal two spaces to the left. So that's all we need to do with 23. Notice with this one, 23%, the 23 had a decimal at the end that was not written in, but we moved that decimal two spaces to the left, so now it's 0 0.23. Now there's a bit of a shortcut and that's to just write the decimal, or to writing it as a decimal, and I'm going to show you the shortcut using magic. Here we go, are we ready? The shortcut is just moving that decimal. So step number one is to write in those decimals, and step number two, shift the decimals two spaces to the left. Ready for this? Boom, 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 and boom. Notice with this one, we had to shift the decimal way over to there and fill in a zero. That's part of the process. It has to go two spaces to the left. So it'll go to the four and then it'll go one space further. And we do have to fill in a zero. That's one of those tricky ones, 4% whoops, being 0 0.04. And then 21% would be 0.21. That's it. So that's the shortcut. Put the decimal in if it doesn't exist and move it two spaces to the left. If you have to add in zeros to fill in the blanks, do that. Here are some practice questions. Notice with 8.6%, I gave you a decimal in the middle of the number. You're going to do exactly what you did before, just shifting the decimal, only this time you've been told where the decimal goes. So I want you to try this practice out. Go ahead and do that and then Put in your decimals and move them two spaces. Three, two, one, go for it. Hey, welcome back. This is where I would have put those decimals. Notice the decimals go on the right of the number unless we're given the decimals like with 8.6. With 8.6, we're already told where the decimal is. All right. Now we shift the decimals two places to the left. In most cases, this isn't going to change much. Look at 53%, boom. Um, now let's do 927%, it moves to there. That becomes 9.27 as a decimal. Now we're going to do what I think is the more challenging one, 8.6%. We have to shift it over two spaces and then put in a zero as a place filler be to show that we did move it two spaces, right? It goes from there over two spaces, so we have to have a zero. And 41% is simply moving it over two spaces to be 0.41. That's how we convert from a percent to a decimal. Now we're going to go the other direction. We're going to convert from a decimal to a percent. To do this, you multiply times 100. Or in other words, if we remember our lesson on powers of 10, we will move the decimal two spaces to the right. So we're going in the opposite direction. Basically doing the same thing, only in the opposite direction. That kind of makes sense. 
right? When we convert from a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal two places to the left. When we convert from decimal to percent, two places to the right. So let's practice just a little bit. First of all, you will usually be given a decimal in this. If not, put the decimal in on the end. So in these cases, I have four decimals that are written out here, and I'm going to convert them into percents. Let's see what happens. First off, I'm going to move the decimals two spaces to the right in every single case. Let's look at 47. I shift it from on the left of the four over to the right of the seven and move two spaces. And then I write it as a percent. That's 47% is 0 0.47. The next one I'm going to move 17 or or 0 0.176. I move it there. Now it's 17.6%. When the decimal's not at the end, we leave it in there. All right, next, 0. Point, or point zero 0.02. The decimal shifts to there. When the decimal moves to there, we can get rid of any zeros that are on the left and change it to a percent. This is probably the most challenging type of question is when you just have a single digit percent. It's a little bit challenging to say 2% is 0 0.02, but that's what it is. It's two hundredths if we're remembering the place values, two hundredths or 2%, two out of 100. And 1.63, we shift the decimal. Because the decimal's at the far right, we can get rid of it and just write it as a percent. So there we go. That's decimals to percents. Now I want you to try it out. You've got some practice here with four different numbers. I want you to convert those decimals into percents by moving that decimal two spaces to the right. Pause and practice. Go. Hey, welcome back. Was 80 or 0.83, did that become 83% for you? That's moving that decimal two places over. 0 0.587 becomes 58.7%. 0 0.03 becomes 3%. And 2.94 became 249, uh, 49, not 94, 2.49 became 249% when we're shifting that decimal two spaces to the right. All right, a couple things to remember. Decimal to percent, you move it to the right. Percent to decimal, you move to the left. If there's zeros that need to be filled in, fill them in. All right, and that is it for this lesson. Make sure to uh, try out the worksheet questions and then watch the recording as I go through all the worksheet examples. Because some examples might seem a little strange, but if you watch the worksheet example video, I'll go through every single one of them and give a full explanation. Then, good luck on the quiz. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.